Hello, it's Rob Cornish. I hope you're well, and I'd like to share with you a fantastically quick method for finding out what prospects, customers, and clients really want in your market. This is crucial whether you're designing a new lead magnet to uh, encourage people to sign up for your list, or whether you're building a small budget nano type product, whether you're building a big course or a, um, a you know, premium enrollment program, whatever it is, you've got to sell what people desire. And then once you've sold it, then you can give them what they need to make that transformation from where they are to where they want to get to. That creates the win-win where you make money and the clients get results. So the normal way of doing this that I would really recommend is to actually uh, reverse engineer what's already being sold in the marketplace. In other words, go out, find out, find say three or four products that are selling well, and then look at the sales copy, maybe buy a couple of them, and understand what's being, what the key points of desirability are that are attracting those customers. And then within the product, what's actually being delivered. That's really a fantastic way to find out where the actual money is in any market at all. But there's another way here that I'd like to share with you. And it, it uses YouTube, which I'm a big fan of. I use it to listen to music and all sorts of things I look up on YouTube. Um, but what we can do here is to actually just search for your market. So let's say we're going to do try Athlon. And how to as well, that sometimes helps in a lot of markets. So let's click enter. And what we're looking for is just a popular channel. So here's one, Triathlon Taron. I'm gonna click on not the actual video title, but actually the, uh, the name of the channel. So Triathlon Taron, let's click there and open this up. And we're gonna to go to the videos first of all. And then the trick is this, you sort by most popular on the right hand side. So if we do that, what this is gonna give us is a little snapshot of what people in this market are most interested in. So we can see the most popular video at the top left here is three triathlon swimming technique tips, uh, presumably to do with breathing. Let's have a look, yeah, breathing for freestyle, okay. So that's a great topic for our market. Three beginner triathlon mistakes, how to swim faster, freestyle instantly, so that's great, three mistakes, swim 20% faster instantly with this trick, and so on. So can you see, this is really good because this is kind of live information where people are clicking and telling us effectively what topics they're interested in. So we don't need to go to kind of, you know, like you used to back in the day, like keyword tools and see what people are searching on. You can see it by the number of views. Let's try another market. This is survival, and uh, I've already found a channel here just to uh, save time, because I've shown you how to do that already. Um, so let's sort by popularity here, and we'll find out what the most popular video is, which is almost 300,000 views, the best tactical flashlight. So we know instantly in this market, people are interested in gadgets and tools. So 25 things not to do if you bug in, uh, how to read a map and contour lines, that's popular as well. The first five things new preppers should buy. Well, to me, that sounds like a brilliant title for a lead magnet, say, on a squeeze page. Um, or a bullet point uh, for a webinar, for example. That's definitely something that people would find interesting. And, of course, you can go on and uh, find more. But let's have a look at some other markets. How about yoga? So here we've got um, another popular yoga channel with loads of views. So this is 18 million views now. And what's the number one? It's yoga for complete beginners, 20 minute home yoga workout. So what's this telling us? Well, again, it's that people wanna do yoga, but they've got limited time. So they're looking to do it in a short amount of time to fit into their busy lifestyles. Brilliant. So that's now an angle that you can take and use either for a complete um, little nano product or a big course or just a bullet point maybe that you're using or a title of a blog post or anything you use uh, in the subject line of an email. 
But can you see these things can be, these ideas, you're homing in on the most desirable and popular elements that people actually want. So if you just do simple exercises like this, you can really, really zero in. And all your, any effort that you put into your business, you're gonna get a bigger payback for it because you haven't got to guess anymore what, what actually people are interested in. So let's have a look at another one. This is uh, relationships here. So I've already sorted this uh, on most popular and look, it's interesting, the most popular video is how to deal with people you don't like at work. And that's 212,000 views. That's over twice the number of views of the next most popular video, which is how to be nice, but not too nice. Uh, also confidence here, things to think about before getting married, the do's and don'ts of dating. So again, fantastic ideas and not just random ones, but ones that we know are popular. And you can start imagining if you check sort of two or three channels, popular channels in your market, you'll end up with, you know, you can easily in, in like 20 minutes get a list of the top five hot topics that people really want to know about and then build your business around those hot topics and put them into your products, into your lead magnets, on your blog, communicate with that through email and you're getting into the right really area of, of desirability, which is what people want. A few more examples. Um, this is about memorizing things, all right? So um, Memorize Academy, and the most popular one, 11 million views, is how to memorize fast and easily. How to memorize 10 times faster, it says on the uh, thumbnail. So really, really popular. And again, this is a classic kind of copywriting headline, really, but the six habits of highly successful students. Perfect. Great topic for, that's a great title for the title of a webinar, for example. Let's go on to copywriting. Um, so here we've got uh, six copywriting tips for beginners. All right, so a collection of tips. Um, what's a copywriter do? Mm, okay, that's a little, not so it's a hot one really in terms of uh, headline. But let's have a look at this. Five great headlines you can steal. Fantastic. Six email subject lines that really work. That's how to start your copywriting career. So again, we've taken a big, huge subject of copywriting and very quickly with a simple YouTube search, zone down into really the most popular areas. I'm sure you get the idea by now, but let's just do one final one. And this is in careers, um, so the employment market. And what do you talk about there? If you were going into that market, what would you, you know, what are the hot topics? Well, how about interviews? And specifically, great answers to common interview questions. So look what's number one, 9.8 million views compared to the second most popular video, which is 2.4 million. And number one is tell me about yourself. Isn't that a question you'd, you'd have you know, the fear of dread in you if somebody asks you that and you're not prepared in an interview. So again, it's giving, you can look at this and it's at such a great hot topic within this market. And also, you know, again, you can go on, have a look at the top uh, few videos, the top four or five, what are your weaknesses, how to get a job with no experience, uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, that's almost like a trick question when they ask you that. Again, we're just zoning in to what people really want to know. So I hope this helps. Like, I'll just finish off with this caveat really, which is probably obvious, but there is no one technique that's gonna suddenly give you absolutely everything. Whether it's looking at paid products that are popular and selling at the moment, or whether it's this, or searching in Google, or whatever you do. So there's no one method that's perfect, but hopefully you can see that you don't need to spend two days like sitting down and going through and figuring out what's, um, what's popular and trying to learn about your market. With just little simple tools like this, if you have a bit more knowledge, you can gain a big, big advantage. And I hope this helps you. So uh, give it a try and look up, say, three or four really popular YouTube channels in your market and see what comes back. And um, I'm sure that you'll find lots of great ideas for blog posts, titles, squeeze page headlines, webinars, content to go in bigger courses, whatever you're creating, whatever you're doing in your business, this can help you. Do drop me a comment below if you like this. I'd love to know what you think. And 
I'll talk to you soon. Take care for now.